If you deal with allergies or you feel a cold coming on, you likely are dealing with congestion, sinus pressure, and headaches. Then if you go to the doctor and they're feeling around your neck, they're feeling for lymph nodes. And what they're trying to do is see if they are swollen. Because if they are swollen, that means your lymphatic system is working really hard to pull out bacteria, infection, and help drain out the backed up system. So if you feel a cold coming on or your allergies are picking up, you can try a lymphatic massage or lymphatic drainage massage that will help stimulate the lymphatic system and the lymph node so that you can lessen the symptoms of congestion and pressure and stop worsening of the illness in its tracks. If you are new here, my name is Kelly and I am a physical therapist and I specialize in lymphedema. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a proper lymphatic drainage massage so you can help get rid of that sinus pressure and congestion and help boost your immune system to fight off the illness. So let's quick look at the lymphatic system and how this works. Your lymph nodes are mainly behind or underneath your ears and underneath your jaw. They also run down the side of your neck to your collarbone or your clavicle. You may also find a few spread out through the rest of your face and the back of your neck. Your lymphatic vessels will run through your face and head and neck area and their job is to help move fluid, bacteria, infection, or anything else that's not supposed to be there towards your lymph nodes and your lymph nodes are going to help detox, filter, and clean out this lymphatic fluid. So when you do a lymphatic drainage massage, what you're doing is you're working to stimulate the lymph nodes and the lymph vessels to help speed up the process of the fluid moving out of your face, your head, and your neck to relieve the congestion. Your lymphatic system sits right underneath the skin. So when we do the lymphatic massage, you don't need to press very deeply. You also wanna be careful because you do have some delicate structures in this area like nerves and arteries. It's best to use a flat hand and your fingertips to have a good surface area when you're working. And we're gonna follow the pattern that we showed prior so that we're moving the fluid in the correct direction towards the lymph nodes and then out of the area. So let's begin. So what we wanna do first is stimulate the lymph nodes in your neck and your head area. We know that the fluid from your head and neck have to make its way through the lymph nodes that are right around the collarbone or the clavicle area. And so we wanna make sure that we're stimulating and getting rid of the fluid around this area first so the rest of the fluid can then move through. And so you wanna start around where your clavicles, your collarbone are, and you wanna just do small circles in the area. You can do both sides at the same time or one at a time, whatever you prefer. But I usually will do about eight to 10 circles and you don't have to press really hard. The lymph nodes sit a little bit under the skin. And then we wanna also stimulate the lymph nodes right above the clavicle. So you can also reach up and go on top of the collarbone area. And we'll do eight to 10 circles there. And then what we also know that you have lymph nodes up the side of your neck a little bit. So we can also go on the sides of the neck and do circles there. And what you wanna do is think about moving the fluid downwards. And so when I do my circles, I will kind of guide the fluid downwards by putting a little bit more pressure on the down motion and then a lot less pressure on the way up. So after eight to 10 there, then we wanna go up towards the lymph nodes that are right around your ear. They sit underneath your ear and up around each side. So what I will typically do is put my fingers on either side of the ear and do circles there. So eight to 10 here. And then after you've done them around the ear, you wanna also work underneath the jaw area. So you have lymph nodes underneath here and you can do circles and I kind of guide away with those as well towards the ear, thinking about that anatomy picture that we talked about, that the lymph nodes and the lymph vessels will go back towards the ear to then go down the neck. So circles underneath here. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you the full routine, which will take some time, but like I do, if I start to feel a little bit of a cold coming on or I have some allergies and I feel a little swollen around my lymph nodes, I will just spend some time doing the stimulation of the lymph nodes around my ears and then underneath my jaw. And I'll just do that for a couple minutes. And sometimes that can help a lot. But again, we're gonna keep going and do the full routine. So after you've stimulated your lymph nodes and clavicle area on your neck, behind your ears and underneath your jaw, 
You can also stimulate back behind the neck. There are some lymph nodes back there. And so some, doing some circles downwards back here. So after we've stimulated all of the lymph nodes throughout the head and neck, then we want to go back and guide the fluid through the lymph vessels to the lymph nodes and then out. And so we want to start back from the bottom and then we'll start down by the lymph vessels in the neck by doing short strokes down the neck from the base of the ear downwards towards that collarbone or clavicle. And I'll go through and do about five repetitions. You can do a little bit more if you're more swollen here. But all the way down and I'm gonna wrap behind the neck a little bit more to get that area. And after I've done this region, then I'm gonna work underneath the jaw. So you wanna think if you look in the mirror, you can almost see a seven with your neck. That's the way the lymph vessels run. So I'm almost guiding underneath the jaw area back towards underneath the ear, behind the ear. I'm doing a handful there. So again, if you're focused on like a sore throat, this is where I'd spend a lot of your time. And then after that, you can kind of work some of that back down the neck. And after you've done a lot there, or as much as you want to, then you can think about almost underneath or in front of the face. So we think about drawing the line down the middle of the face. We know the lymph vessels run out to either side, depending on what side it's on. So if you feel congested right around where the sinuses are, you can spend a lot of time working the fluid out towards the direction of your ears. So guiding through, and you don't have to press really hard, but short little strokes, kind of like pushing toothpaste out of toothpaste tube, guiding it through towards the ears, going through again about five times or so, but spending more time if you choose to. And after you've done that area, you can also do above the forehead if you feel like you have a lot of pressure in the top of your head or above your eyes. You can spend time guiding it through there. And then again, for some people, they'll also focus again on the back of the neck, working from almost the base of the hairline underneath down towards the base of the neck on the bottom where your shoulders meet. So after you've done that, then I'll usually will go through and finish any area that I feel like is most needed. So usually it's underneath here. And then I'll work back down the neck, working the fluid all the way out that we've worked from the face towards the ears. Some people who have clogged ears, you might wanna spend a lot more time doing circles around the ears too. You can almost feel the ears open up, like they'll start to crackle a little bit because you're guiding the fluid away from that congested area. And then everything will go back down towards the collarbone or the clavicle. So again, you can do it all on one side at a time or you can do both at the same time, whatever works well for you. The other last helpful piece is that you can do a lot of stimulation to the lymph nodes lower in the chest. So your sternum runs down the middle of your chest and you have lymph nodes that are a little bit lower below the collarbone or clavicle. You can do circles there. You can also do circles almost in your armpit area because we know you have a lot of lymph nodes in your armpit on both sides. And you can also do belly breathing. I am gonna create another video on belly breathing techniques. So I'll put a link for that down below when it's available. A lot of people will do this routine once a day. Again, I will typically do this routine a couple times a day if I start to feel a cold coming on or my allergies are kicking in and that usually helps stop it in its tracks. So that's the basic lymphatic drainage massage routine for your head neck area, specifically for something like a cold, the flu, allergies, or any other congestion you may have. For more topics on the lymphatic system or lymphatic drainage, be sure to subscribe down below or press the like button if you found this video helpful. Thanks everyone.